Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys some Gibraltar ranked gameplay, and I'll be showing you guys my thought process on when you should be using your abilities and the sacrifices you have to make as a Gibraltar. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and hopefully you guys learn something from it. All right, guys. So in this video, I'll be pretty much rewinding here and there. I'll just show the fight, and then I'll rewind it and explain detail of why I did what I did. Um... I won't be doing it too much. I'll only be doing it in a few fights. Uh, this fight coming up, I will be doing it. So to start off with like a, like a little explanation with Gibraltar and like my thought process, pretty much for any ranked match or any match in general, is I always want to PK. A lot of people struggle with using shotguns and PKs and they don't really want to. As a Gibraltar, it, it's a must. If you're fighting another Gibraltar or any character that has a PK and you don't, um, it's going to be a rough bubble fight. So I just took my time on him. I knew he was low. I do not waste bubble here because I just want to take the, the 1v without having to waste my bubble quite yet. My arm shield's broken. I slide to the other end of the bubble, which is extremely smart to do. We both whiff. GG's. And just hit him with a nice little peek right there. Now I'm just waiting for the other guy, but he's uh, pushing my teammates, which was smart on his part because my teammates are rezzing. Up. and just caught him on the cross gg's only he should have waited all right so i'm gonna go ahead and just go back a little bit so this fight right here this first guy i'm strictly just adsing him my arm shield broke off the first hit perfectly fine i'm gonna keep adsing him because i know i can hit my second shot um very easily that way i hit him i immediately throw a bubble and this is exactly what i do even though i just got shot you know Nothing you can do about that. I threw bubble, but as soon as I throw bubble, I know that he's going to be coming down the elevator or strictly like right behind me on the uh, the ramp. So my initial thought is to immediately get to the other side of the bubble. That's what you need to do no matter where you are and above. Just try to hurry up and get to the other end as fast as possible. And that's a nice little slide in. Um, and you, It will get you over there. Set up, time it correctly. I hit him with it, did a little wiggle back and forth so he doesn't know exactly where you're going. And I immediately go inside. We both whiff and hit him when he least suspected um I was, again i was keeping the, the ads so i had that arm shield just in case he hit me um but again as soon as i threw a bubble i went straight to the other side and that's what you need to be doing as gibraltar you need to hurry up and get to the other side of the bubble especially in tough situations like that when you're really low um because you just have to get there and a lot of times you will find yourself um fighting without the bubble yet because that's a good thing to do is just to fight the 1v without using the bubble and then save your bubble for the 1v2 if if needed um so a little stressful situation got four kills which is absolutely solid right now um time to loot up all right so again with that last fight i feel like that was a good example of trying to hold your bubble and you know not throwing it right away and a lot of people always ask you know when do you really throw a bubble and it's kind of off instinct you have to throw your bubble a lot um to kind of get an understanding of when's a good time uh when's a really bad time to do it and you just have to make the most out of your bubble whenever you do throw it if you feel like it's a bad bubble still try to make the most of it or just relocate and wait for your bubble to come back um so right here um, this is what you always have to do if your teammate's a little behind you always want to have to go back and help them out. They'll sit there and post up in your building, wait for them to get to you. Uh, make sure you're there for them. So just in case they get rolled up one, uh, you're there to actually help them. Um, right here, we have another fight coming up. And it's a little tough one, again. And the, the perks of uh, this is also uh, having a caustic, honestly. Having a caustic in pretty much yeah, doesn't matter what map it is. Just in, in general, like having a caustic in ranked saves teams from pretty much pushing you fully. Um, right here, we were kind of all separated. We should have been on top, but uh, with the Bangalore all going on and everything, it would have just destroyed all the traps anyway. And this is about map knowledge right here, just knowing uh, when to get different angles and stuff like that. Even as a big boy, you want to sit there and do this. Uh, we actually was able to thirst. This is a nice climb up for this building if people do not know that yet. Um, Keep calling me. This res, do not be scared of a little bit of your body being outside. Because if that is, like, if that does happen, 
a lot of the times the enemy would be like they'll be kind of forced to shoot you instead of fully ending the bubble to try to hurry up and uh, cancel the knock they'll just try to start shooting you through the bubble um so it kind of works out in a way if your body sticks out just a little bit um just be aware that you will get absolutely obliterated but sometimes it, it does work we're here again catching angles to pretty much hold this team off from pushing my teammate um since he is weak still nice little 81 i know the other guys are to come Looking for 81, nice little 36, so 45. So they're both Good 1 HP, play. but I really can't push them for the simple fact that yeah, the dude them. does have Hammer Point uh, Mozam, yeah. and I could get absolutely demolished from it, so I have to be careful with that. Um, and not push it so hard. With, Again, catch another angle, and it's, it's all about map knowledge and getting different angles every single time. Right here, I know I need to hurry to get down. Bubble. I knew the Bangalore was coming. And this is a good a little angle to like the the hold uh in a 1v1 fight. Nice little quick scope. And right there is a really good example of sometimes you don't need to ADS, just go ahead and hit fire away. Oh my gosh, what is he shooting me with, dude? Skin right here in this fight. As I'm shooting, I know the other guy's pushing me, I can also hear him, so I immediately bubble and I slide immediately. Just like the last uh fight. I hope you can get to this side. And right here is a good angle. This little like little spit of space is like probably the best angle to have a 1v1 in. Even though I'm in a 1v2 situation, I still make it a 1v1 because I, I ignore the pathfinder. I see him right there. And as soon as he comes out, I go back in immediately. I finish my kill and I go in as he goes out. And now I'm I literally right here, what I'm doing is I'm setting up for my next fight. Um it's kind of like a little breather in between the fights, and you're able to set up. Uh, get your positioning and get ready to uh, have another fight. Hit 81. And right here, you see, I'm taking my time with my shot because I do not want to reload. I know the bubble's about to go away, and I only have one more shot. Get that quick scope oh in, and now God. I can get my teammates. Um, so nice little clutch there. Uh, so that was to this game already, which is absolutely insane. Um, and that's a good feeling, especially as a Gibby. Like, that's what you do no fill duos for. Um, you practice those 1v2s against people, um, and it, it leads for moments like that where you can get confidence. And whenever your bubble goes down, a lot of people, whenever they get in situations like that, they get really nervous. Um, but when your bubble goes down, that should give you so much confidence that you can win that uh, that 1v2, whatever it is. Uh, because you practice it every single time whenever you play no-fill duos. And if you don't play no-fill duos, I highly recommend it. it it honestly helps out your 1v2s or your clutch situations, even in a 1v1 situation, uh, to clutch up for your team. Um, sure it's a good feeling. Area, I guess. And it's probably the, the best thing, the best reason to play Gibby, yeah, honestly. Alright, now that teammates are looted up, we are currently rotating the right side. There's no reason for us to go left, even though left going through the train tracks will probably be the better position for us in the long run. Um, is also not the safest route, because we don't know how many teams are over there. There's no reason to try to force our way in through the tracks. Um... You know, storms coming in. We don't want to be trapped, uh, trapped in a storm. This is not necessary. So we rotate right side. We play this vehicle right here, and these vehicles are absolutely huge to play. If you can get near one, uh, these vehicles are actually like a lot of teams that win tournaments or just end game and ranked. A lot of them have these vehicles if the vehicles in the circle. So right here, team up top, and we are bullying this team right here because they're sandwiched between us. And this is a good alt situation. This is probably the, one of the best alt situations for Gibraltar is when another Gibraltar throws his bubble down. Now, when this happens, you want to actually count in your head the seconds down. Um, just like what some people do with Arc Stars, you kind of want to count it down. Um, you do the same thing with your alt. You want to throw your alt between 8 and 10 second marker of them throwing their bubble down. Uh, because as soon as their bubble goes away, your alt's going to come down right as the bubble goes away. And it's going to absolutely demolish them. So I'm going to go ahead and go back real quick. Uh, I'm gonna do the 1 1000, 2 1000 countdown real quick. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000, 11 1000, 12 1000. 12 1000. Bubble goes down, yawns, so is all. Um, it's kind of challenging to count like that. But this is the best way to count, I feel like. So just count in your head. As soon as bubble goes down, 8 to 10 second marker is when you want to throw your, your alt down uh, on top of another Gibraltar's bubble. Again, this is probably one of the best situations to throw it. Um, it's a good alt usage, especially since we're not at the end game yet. I feel like it was really good to use your alt right there in that situation. 
And if they had an opening to pretty much run away, if you see that the team has an opening to run away, throw the all a little behind uh, the bubble. So that way they can't, you know, run away from it. They have to either go towards you or, again, set in the bubble as long as they can until the bubble goes away and they're going to get hit by the alt. Life so it's pretty much a good alt usage right there. Um, and now I was just pretty much trying to hold, hold down the fort a little bit. Um, again, the team up top's helping us out again. We're out here bullying kids with the team up top. Absolutely huge. Uh, that's what you kind of want to do. If the team has best positioning, just take advantage of the fact that, you know, they can't hit you, but they can hit other people with you. <laughs> so I have an angle where the team up top can't hit me. So I was just using it as my advantage. I was sailing that right side away from the team up top. My team's getting out fully. They're Valk quality, which is huge. That means we can rotate that right side. I mean, light ammo, actually. Again, eight kills, nine squads left. That's actually huge, honestly. Being more annoying. Now, this is something I didn't expect, is the team from Height is actually pushing us, which is really awkward. Um, I don't know why they did this, but they did. He was to throw down alt. That was a misclick. He was trying to throw alt down, and it messed up. Teammates were able to get out, which is huge on their part. Um, I pretty much got left behind, but I'm able to fry that kid. I hear the other two on top of me, so I have to climb up. And this is the sacrifice you have to make as a Gibby. Uh, I'm trying to last really as long as you possibly can. So right here, I tell them to just run without me, because I know I'm dead. No matter what I do in this situation, I'm dead. So I'm trying to do as much damage as I possibly can. Uh, just be annoying. Trying to get them to focus me and stay in circle so my teammates can get out. Leo got hit by the horizon. No big deal. I whiffed that shot. But again, they're sitting here trying to focus me the entire time. And my caustic's able to get out fully. That's some things you're going to need to do as a Gibraltar. Is go ahead and just tell your teammates, yo, you, you got to leave. Because if you think it's a done fight, like a done dead fight, no one can really get out unless someone sacrificed stays. The Gibraltar is the one that has to do that. He's the one that can throw bubbles. He has the most health. Um, and you should know the bubble more than your teammates do. So you're able to live in that bubble a little longer. And you can also put down a lot of damage. Especially when it's in the storm. Um, right there, Gibraltar's got Nox. Um, just from trying to fight me in zone. And he's got Thursa right there. In zone. So that's another kill that I get for that. So that's huge. Um, so that's just a good example of just being a, a good Gibby player, honestly. Uh, not to toot my own horn. It's just something you have to do. I mean, you have to make a, a sacrifice play like that. And you're going to have to do a lot more than you think. Because there's a lot of situations in these games that you guys cannot get out of it unless someone sits there and just fights and the other two can get out. Um, and Gibraltar needs to be the player to do that. Again, he has the most health. He has the bubble. And when it comes down to it, you want another another character to pretty much rat it out you want the little bit of rat it out you want the caustic too because the caustic can actually hold down a building by itself with his traps um he can alt on himself to you know buy more time wraiths and pathfinders have that escapability so like gibraltar is that the biggest legend in the game it's not good for him to be the rat um so i want him to that sacrifice play and you're going to do a lot more than you think again um but i'm gonna go ahead and skip forward some he actually does pretty well He's able to rat out all the way to, I think it was what, fourth place, I think we got? Yeah, fourth place. Yeah. For, again, right here, he was able to keep the team from up top, push them right away, which is absolutely huge. Um, a good thing. Again, this is why it was best for the Caustic to be uh, last alive. Because if I was last alive, I wouldn't be able to, to live this long. Which is a bubble. Absolutely dunk of him right there. Huge. You know, this is a good game all around. That is, you just uh, so that was fun. <laughs> uh, we got fourth place. I had 10 kills. And it was absolutely some good plays in that. We had two clutch plays with the bubble. Uh, we had a alt play that was absolutely insane. And then we had the sacrifice that we, you know, someone has to stay behind. So that was all like, that was four really good plays in one game. And sometimes you, you don't have all that action in one game, which is huge. So hopefully you guys learn from this game. Hopefully... I explain things correctly because I know I'm a bot lord sometimes when I explain. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.